Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Vine, and my name is Dave, and today we are gonna get our cell biology game on with Crytosis. Let's do it. As a disclaimer, this is a review copy from Genius Games, so thank you so much for your support. You really have helped the channel grow quite a bit, actually, so thank you for that. Now this is another title from John. Now this is the second edition. Now I do have the first edition. Now there are some differences here. The main one being that the virus expansion that came in the first one is not in the second one. There are some different things as well, but the main thing is that the expansion is no longer there. Which means that the second side of the board needs a purpose, which is awesome because now you can play two players on a different side of the board and not have to worry about doing some managing of little spots and taking things out. Which in my opinion is great because I play the two player variant pretty much exclusively. Now John and Genius Games tout that they have the science on lock. They even have the science of how the game was made and or produced. They have credits to a lot of scientists and doctors, which again, I can't vouch for that, but it looks pretty legit to me. And this took me right back to Junior high science class. Uh, even the art is very much reminiscent of what I had in my workbooks. It looks real crisp. The production in this box is pretty stellar. Without further ado, let me show you what's in that box, show you how to play, and then after that, I'll tell you what I think. Let's go. All right, so this is what comes in the box of cytosis and boy, it's just beautiful. I love the colors and the cardboard is quality. Let's go ahead and do a cardboard break now and check that out. Oh yeah, that's about four or five ply. I've been impressed with Genius Games production almost on every game that I've went through so far. So let's get into the wooden bits, my favorite parts. Here are the beakers. Uh, the Every player has their own color and there are gray ones that have additional ones uh, for you to get in the game. Now you have cubes here, just basic cubes, but they're nice. I did a little fancy pattern thing there, but you have four different colors there and the cardboard like I just shown you is decent quality and the art on it, everything is super cool. It does remind me of like sixth grade science class. And then you have the cards, linen finish, my favorite, and it's just very, very nice. So you got good thickness on these cards. Now this being the second reprint, the expansion isn't in here. And the designer said that was because it was distracting when you were playing in at first and you still had to pay the extra money. So now the expansion, the virus expansion is now separate. So you can choose to get it if you want. And one of the cool things here is not only there is a revision of some of the other things. The two player uh, board is on the other side, so you don't have to do all the modifications, which is pretty nice. Trust me on that. So that's what you get in the box. Now let me show you how to play. Let's go. All right, so this is the game set up for three players. Like I said, the other side is for two players, which I play quite a bit of. Now what you're trying to do is get the most points via health points, and at the end of the game, whoever has the most of those is the winner. This is a worker placement game. So you're using your flask to place on the board to gather different micromolecules in order to make them into other things and get cards and sometimes get some goal cards completed as well. Now some micromolecules are easy to get and some are a little bit harder and take a little bit more time. But it turns broke up into two phases. The first phase, like I said, you're putting down all your flasks. Everybody will put one down until all the flasks are placed down. And once that happens, phase two starts, which is basically the cleanup. You'll be putting out another one of these cell cards here, wherever their one is uh, needs to be replaced. And you'll also be flipping over the next event card. Now these event cards will be altering the board just a tad bit. Sometimes they'll boost and sometimes they will reduce. And this one here just says add one additional ATP token to the mitochondria this turn. So basically the ATP right here is currency. This is going to help buy a lot of different things. Now when you place your flask on a place, you, you can get stuff. Now the number here tells you how many of that that you get right here. I can get three black RNA. So you just basically take it from the general supply and put it in your personal supply. And the next person that goes here will of course get the two. And there is of course a first player marker so you can place right here and you can choose to either put a, call, a marker on one of the gold cards which we'll get into how those score a little later or you can just get one currency here. Speaking of currency, ATP 
production is right here, so you'll be taking a lot of ATP from the mitochondria. And if you want some protein, you're going to have to place your flask right here and trade in some RNA to do that. The other easy spots are you can pay some ATP to get uh, a little bit of the carbs here, or you can complete a enzyme card, which is one of these. Now, how you complete the cards is what you're going to be using some of the micro molecules for, and you're getting health points, which is going to be ticked up here sometimes if you score immediately, or if they score at the end of the game, you'll be doing it then. But these cards down here, you're going to have to either take uh, for free if you want them, or pay a little ATP in order to get them. They will slide down and get replenished at the end of the round. And once you buy them, you have a hand of, of them. So say you have this enzyme in your hand, you'll pay the ATP, you'll pay whatever is on uh, the card there, you'll immediately score the health. They also count for a set. So the more enzymes you have, the better. So you'll place anything that you complete in front of you and you continue to try to get cards in front of you. Now the last easy spot is basically um, you're going to pay, pay for ATP in order to get an extra flash. These gray flasks are anybody's who can get here first and you can place these down to get the same kind of actions. When you clean them up, they go right back up here. So now let's go over the more lengthy material gatherings. So the lip is right here. You're gonna place your flask. You have to get these into your supply before you take your next flask action. Let's say you're gonna take it right there and you'll put a disc here and put the amount of Liptid that you want to go ahead and travel down. And then on your very next turn, you can go ahead and place right here. And then on your very next turn, you place down right here. And this is where you can put a carb right on your disc. And the very last phase being completion of a card. I did put one more Liptid that I needed to on here. So we're trying to complete, let's say, this card right here. We're moving our disc down. We will pay the AT and we will um, pay our material put our disc back here and then we will play this from our hand let's say we had this in our hand in front of us scoring the points automatically and the same goes for the protein Let's say I had this card in my hand I would basically be putting a um, flask right here trading in some of my RNA in order to get some protein to put on a disc right here and in this case I only need one of the protein then I'll put another flask down here in the Golgi and then I'll move it on down place myself a carb on here and do the process basically as it goes down here paying the ATP paying the material process and getting the points that are right down here in bold immediately now these protein cards also will help out say if other people play them and you have a lot of those stacked up here you'll get two points for every protein uh, hormone card that you have and uh, anytime you play one for yourself you'll get an extra one point so they can really stack and get you quite a bit other cards that you can buy are just materials you can buy this collect two carb cubes you can have it in your hand and play it at any point on your turn and like I said, the enzymes are sets. So basically, as you collect them, they get better and better. So 0, 2, 5, 9, 14, the more you got, the better the score. Now, the alcohol detoxification here, it gets you health um, as well when you play them. But, and you can barely see that there, whoever has the most gets more points. Second most, five points. And third most, uh, two points, just like in a lot of games. Steroid hormones also have the same kind of two uh, other points and one for yourself. It's really cool because the colors down here, which is easy to distinguish. Speaking of colors, the resource colors are not the same as the player colors. Thumbs up on that. But those are all the basic cards. Uh, now the event cards down here, every time a round is up, you'll flip a event card and that is the next active one. There are different ones, like I said, there are boosts and there are reductions, like this reduction here. All cell component cards cost one less ATP to uh, purchase this round. So it's an all around good thing. Once the last event card is revealed, everyone takes their turn, and that is the end of the game. Whoever has the most health wins. Last thing I need to really go over are the gold cars up here. So like I said, you're going to have to place up here the first player marker in order to put a token on the gold cards. Being the first is going to give you more rewards, and there are only two spots on each card. 
Now this one here, gain additional two points for each enzyme you complete this game, plus three points if you're the first one to do it. Gain an additional two points for each steroid hormone you complete this game, again, three extra points. And this one here is cell production, gain an additional one point for each cell component card you have completed this game. Uh, the other thing that I didn't mention, you will get points for some of the material that you have in your supply at the end of the game. Add up all the bonuses, the points, and like I said, whoever has the most health is the healthiest and winner. Now let me tell you what I think about this game and give it a grade. Let's go. So that is how you play Crytosis. Now, again, that is the second edition. I'm gonna give the grade right now. It gets an 82 for me. This is my second favorite genius game at the moment. I did have the benefit of playing both versions. I had the first one before I got the second edition. And when I played this, it you could add the virus expansion, but because it was already in the box, I kind of just did. And I feel like it did add a little more to the game. Now there are, like I said, a few cards that have been taken out, a few things that have been tweaked in the game to make it more streamlined. And you feel that immediately. Now, because this is a science and educational game, people might be turned off for that. But I'm telling you, you should not be. I learned a little more about lipids and stuff like that. So the science is really fun to learn, but the game is so strong. This isn't like an in-depth crazy worker placement. I would say it's kind of in the middle there. But the unique essence of moving these little cubes down the board at over turn by turn and having it be instilled in actual science it's just really cool. It just had a unique feel to me than any other worker placement game. So I'm recommending this to anyone who likes science and anyone who likes worker placement games. And if you're both of those people, this is going to be a home run for you. Even if you don't like either one of those, I still think you should try this. The science theme doesn't turn you off at all, in my opinion. And the worker placement is a bit of a learning curve. But once you play once or twice, you know what's going on. But my overall thinking on this game, production is fantastic. I really like the art. The gameplay is stellar. The theme is drenched on the game and actually pretty cool. I like science and science is cool again, baby. So that is what I think of this game. It's a nice 82 for me, which is a solid grade and Dice Tower approves actually has a seal on here. I wish I need to make my own seal. I might actually go do that because I am also saying this is Game Vine approved because mm, if they can continue to mash both great gameplay and science theme, count me in. So thank you so much, John and Genius Games for supporting the channel here. <laughs> it's been awesome reviewing your game and I can't wait to review more of them. And thank you so much, Vine Nation, for tuning in to today's review. If you wanna buy this game, it's going to be down in a link in the description. If you haven't already, click like and subscribe. And until next time that I see ya, have a great rest of your day and a great time with all that you play. Get your signs on everybody, bye. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.